lesbian podcast, male podcast, male podcast, ne vada, sad podcast. And today our bad producer, your artist. When I feel like. When I feel like. Today we have Russian on the place. Man. Big up yourself. Um, a podcast, I feel like it's long overdue because people have some questions with them. They need answers too. You feel me? First thing, are you Jamaican? Let's get straight to it. Born and raised. Which part of Jamaica? <coughs> Kingston, not all. Hospital. And then you go, you go to school or do you used to go? Queen's Prep, Arden High School. I'm going to get kicked from there and then go Covenant. Covenant School? A reject school. So where you do get kicked? Long story, we don't really want to Love time. <coughs> no, man, no, we can, we can skip that, but Covenant High School. Mm -hmm. Yeah, Covenant Christian Academy. And then, what your background? You have any farm musical background at all? Um, yeah, my father, my father did the um, music still. Mm -hmm. But when I when when I was of age, he he wasn't doing music. He did do it before me, man. So was he was he he played any form of yeah, influence? Yeah, he played. It's not like it's not like him did ever say, "Yo, this is music. Try it, whatever." But he did have a little studio set up, and I did see the equipment. And uh, um, I used to dibble and dabble, and then I just kind of figured it out on my own. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And then now, siblings, that's a big other one or just like you and your only child? No, no, no. I have um, two sisters, two brothers. One of my brothers then passed away. Condolences. Um, and then, but living in the house, it was one sister. The others were older. Okay. So uh, you had the youngest? Yeah, we had the youngest. Okay. So why why music? Um I just love it, bro. I used to I used to select first. But they have a song called Nocturnal. Um me they started with some schoolmates and then I just used to hear rhythm on the radio and feel like we could I do something as good or even better. So is is it that case where <clears throat> Like you're from a well-off family, where like this shouldn't be way should I do? If you know, like that, the average Jamaican would say, "Why you had the music?" It was gone. We come from a family, what you know, do, does well for themselves. But my father was a man, talking past tense because he passed. But mm -hmm. he was a man who said anything you want, you have to work for it. So even if him have ten dollars, he must say me I have to go work for my own. So he never like equipment or nothing. He never buy me none of that. And me. You should just hustle, cell phone, whatever it is, mm -hmm. to buy my own things. And so, and they never discouraged me. They said, do what you want to do. So, him, him did, oh, I'm going to ask my follow up question. Like, if well, okay originally, I did pass for a, a college of foreign. I'm going to tell them, say, yo, give me, give me six months before it is supposed to start. And if I'm going to make it in a music, then we go to college. But I made it. What, what, what was that song? For say you make it hard. I mean, it would have, would have been uh, it would have been cartel holy down and then life sweet. But prior to that, I was building beats and giving it to other people. So like, what, what's a beat you build where bust the place and we wouldn't know say how you build it. I don't want to discredit the people them still. It's years, it's no, years. no, 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 no. Because, because I'm not like it's like if I'm a ghostwriter, I'm not going to I'm not going to snitch on what it is because mm -hmm. it's going to discredit them legacy. You see me? If they want to come and talk about it, then we're going to talk about it. So, yo, so you used to go out in a Stephen time? Yeah. So, you had any friends? In high school? Mm -hmm. No. No. So, when you start the music, and like, you know, people are here about Russian and, you know, you have put out rhythms, like, you know, the link up at that time, no, instead of yeah, 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 yeah. No, we were, we were friends. Um, We were friends, not in the beginning part of high school, in the latter part when I, when I start more. Push the music, you see me? Mm -hmm. I don't remember the exact time, but yeah, we did link. Um, them time that him did already around the place, you see me? So you did a link with him like like for mentorship or I don't know. No, we just was friends, so we used to hang out time through there and them something. Mm -hmm. um, so it was not no mentorship or no. It was just we just, it was friends. We used to talk about music. We make couple of rhythm together, but yeah. And then now your first release of Cartel. And I say first artist to work with? No, no, no. First artist to work with. Um, I did work with, around them time, I did work with Shano, Conscience, Cartel. Um, 
Taurus. I think Sean Paul, yeah. We work with that. Yeah, family. so all, you as a it's how you age you at all, about like 17? Yeah. All, all you end up work with them artists and you're not forwarding with no. <clears throat> and like Steven now, yo, a Freddy son. Yeah. yeah. No, no, no. So so how the thing they go still was a networking man. We used to just go to the studio them when we read him them. I met the artists them here, telling them you should still rate it. But you even get into the studios. That's how the studio care for you that you go. No. How many get in the studio? All right, Natural Bridge was one. Couple of man in the streets I didn't know. I think, I think, um, I think Frost, Frost was one of them because Frost was like, he never in production at the time. So I used to hang out. I'm going to meet Frost through Kappa shot them. So it was just a matter of, we just, yo, you know, a man, you just part of the street that one day. And I was like, yo, that youth, I'm bad in the middle of him. And we just a link like that. It wasn't really a matter of, oh, yo, can you bring me to the studio? Mm -hmm. No, it was just pull up at the studio and the man, I'm here, the thing, and couldn't. Couldn't deny it, isn't it? So, you know, as a juvenile, I feel like mm -hmm. you have to work harder to prove yourself because you know, on a track record. Is yeah. It, when you don't make your sound, is there something particular you don't go for for say, or more to put even that jump pattern here or that instrument that would be different? Yeah, no, I always used to go unique. Anything, anything, um, me I build me just always want it like a different for stand out to, to my sound. It's just unique, like strange songs. Things where as you hear the rhythm, you're gonna know, sir. All right, it's that song or that rhythm. So, so them way they used to just kind of pre. And then at this time, you have head concussion, or it wasn't that thing, just Russian, you had the only thing? No, I did have head concussion because my cousin did give me the name at the time. So that was just you alone? Or it yeah, was like an it, no, entity it, alone? It, no, it was me alone. Me alone. And then, um, like two years in one youth from country um, named Brixton, him be come in. But he was always in country, so he never really, I think I lean still in the live. He never really, probably one studio session in years he's ever been to. Mm -hmm. You see me? Him, him never really around the thing. And then after that, some people come around, like, you know, you have Sensi, he come around and uh, Kansi did around. And, but Kansi never really do producing him, just did. Uh, Kansi's a crime minister, right? Yeah. All right, so I'll make sure. Kansi was like the hype man. Oh, okay. Yeah. And then now, Straight jeans and fit it. I feel like that is the intro to Russian. Like, you know, the A Russian with that ear, but that's like straight jeans. No, and straight fitted. jeans and fit it was the era of when, you know, all right, this youth a producer. I remember before even straight jeans, but they feel like, say, all right, this is how I'd even think to that. It was, when they have rhythms, then they run the place. And we say, what's next? Bus artists. But it was Shandizi. Mm -hmm. And we say, all right, what's next? All right, let me try the artist thing. So one day I got to Cartel and say, yo, but concept for your song is the rhythm. And we believe in the idea and we just do it. But why if you Cartel even believe in the idea for work with you at all? Like even in the beginning? Yo, it's a man who see the vision. I guess when I met him, I spoke to him with confidence and he did hear uh, that you can know what he want and he read him them bad. And it's actually him text me, it's him text me like two days later, like one, six a morning, and say, yo, them text, them time them used to text weird, like some subliminal way. Mm -hmm. And the man say, yo, uh, like when I say, yo, a teacher, link up, send me some reading. So I guess from the day they meet me and hear what we did have still, and they say, yo, that you have the vision. Is that you to believe? You see me? And yeah. Yeah, and then. I, you know, I know a couple of mutual friends. I'm telling me, say, you're you to the, in the streets of Matala at the time, like, you mm -hmm. there, pass a pass and... Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, so so that, that's how I think I build the whole foundation of Russian, is even though people that say, oh, it's an uptown youth, we used to go every dance, no matter where they could have Riverton, could have Sherlock, Tivoli, we used to just dead um, walking in the streets, giving out CDs, burn them, print them up. If I carry a player sound, we used to make sure them have a CD. Mm. So I, I think I did actually do the street work and build it because at the time, even now, I don't really think producers really touch the street. They just used to produce and just. So you feel like it. you were accepted out the gate or like, it's just like, yo, who no, are you no, no, no. At, fir at first, bro, I, some artists used to even say, yo, who that, a Japanese or, or it's a foreigner, I could charge him a whole heap of money or whatever. I never forget one time I did a studio with DeMarco. I think Jazzy T, they bring me to that session. I think Movado, they did it too. And um, 
Like them player, one of my rhythm and the marker said, yo, the rhythm, yo, boy, and I go on. The most way he played like 20 times. And then like, he would have said to him, man, yo, who really, man, them said this. Man, just, the mood, they just changed, I think, and then they said, yeah, tell him, say, 10 grand for us. 10 grand, man. US? <laughs> yeah. Where? They want that charger? I, I, I don't know. Maybe I think I was a Japanese, so then mm -hmm. they said that. So I remember that was like the first time I ever hear a man come up with that. And, and I was like, all right, cool, whatever. I never so, feel no way. You I never feel no way about that? No, because, bro, when I expect, when I, when I entitled, when I expect, even, even if I wasn't a Japanese, if that's in price, we just have to respect it and just move on. At the time, I never have the money for paying 10 grand. Mm -hmm. So I just said, all right, cool. You're speaking of order, like, somebody tell me, say, you were really a gully producer initially. No, no, no. No, me and my Link. Mm -hmm. Just like me and Carter Link. It was never... A gully or Gaza thing, it's just really cool. And we're still cool. Yeah, I'm telling you what you're saying, Yeah, I know what you're going to say. You told me it's already, oh, oh <laughs> No, um, they, 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 they said Vada take long for Vice. No, Vada take long for do everything. Like, that's just his, him go off at him time. But that wasn't the reason. There's no, it's, that, that's but not then, no. But then, but you, now, as I just said, uh -huh. just like how I respected the markers. 10 grand. 10 grand. I'm not going to switch side on a man just became take long for vice because that's how it moved. And it was no switching our sides. It's, I was good with both of them. Mm -hmm. Even during the whole war between Cartel and Movada, Movada never seen me out and say, pussy, I got dead. You know, we did good. Just like how me and Frost did good. You see me? So I just died. So you so used to go around Movada in, in the war time? Yeah, bro. Bro, Frost, I'll tell you, me and Movada and, 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 and Frost in our one car, Frost, Frost picked me up and he said, yo, dog, I'm going to go pick up Vada. And them time, Frost never really had no money and the car now no brakes. And sure, we there almost run off of the road. And nobody don't know, so we did another little old car. Right. Yeah, bro, it was, look, at the end of the day, dog, you know, I can't tell me, say, but that, uh, we not get involved in that because if them go back tomorrow, I don't want to be in, in a situation of that, you see me? We just respect what them do with and that was it. So of course, I feel like you were exempt from all that because you're an uptown youth. I don't know, bro, what do you mean? I what? mean, that's, that happened. No, no, it's just how you carry yourself. It's just how you carry yourself. It's no way you feel like, because the man said, oh, it's an uptown youth. We're not going to, no, bro, whole heap of uptown youth, pick a side or whatever. I just, it was just what it was. Mm -hmm. You see me? And then, which year now Jay Capri coming out of the picture? I think, I think 20, Jay Capri did their own from 2010 still. Mm -hmm. But I like mentor of like, because when Jay Capri, funny, when Jay Capri come on my studio, she came with my brother and Richard Reyna, like saying, him just did a par and him bring her, I made a bit with him. He never bring her as an artist. Yeah. I guess he was just his friend. And then uh, him say, yo, like funny, you know she can sing? I'm say, yeah. And she sing and say, yo, you're bad. But she'd say, yo, she want to be like an R&B and all that. I say, yo, that's cool and all. But in Jamaica, if you want that, I wouldn't start there. I would just... So she said, really? All right, cool, whatever it is. She probably come back around again one time. And I say, yo, you know, her voice bad. But I say, yo, we have to work on... If, if we do some work, we have to work on dance first. And um, she was a little hesitant and then... My, my, my explain it to her. She never had a name. Would they give her the name? Um, I made up the name for her and everything. And um, and then after that, <coughs> I worked on Wine and Catch. Mm -hmm. I wrote it for her and thing and gave it to her. She delivered, kill it. That's one thing she always have delivery. And she had good stage presence. And then the rest was history. That song I never bust at Jamaica. Nobody never believed in it. We just did. Wait, bust first. It bust from um, um, French Caribbean and Latin. I did, I did just, I believed in the song and I did just market it on the internet. And I just watched where it was gravitating it first and push it there. And it bust and then you don't know when they selected them fly out and say, yo, like them with a fly one region and say, yo, why run the place and them hear the song and them come back. Like I remember Boom Boom was on him, come back from one of them places and say, yo, that song, yeah, run the place and play it. So she was from foreign, really, and then to Jamaica. Mm. So you feel like certain songs 
don't get accepted in other culture when they come up as too international. But when it do work international, then it can come back. Certain songs, certain songs. Like like, art. like at some point, like like Charlie Blocks. Like so, party animals. Yeah. <laughs> I don't remember the, how that did react, if it did even react in Jamaica first. But yeah, yeah, of course, you have songs that, because Cranium song, nobody have to know. I remember that bus first in New York. But it was released in New York. He's a New York artist. No, it's re- no, bro, it's not released in New York. You know, you know what I mean? You know what I mean, though? It was a release in New York. It might promote in New York, the play yeah, in New York yeah. first. So yeah, there are songs that I don't think Jamaicans are necessarily saying, yo, you don't come from here or this is what it is, so we're not going. It's just how, wherever it catch first, it catch first and Jamaicans catch on to it after. I don't think they're saying, yo, in man not come from here, so we nah. You see me? Mm-hmm. Yeah, it's just like how the buyer and the bus somewhere else and then come to Jamaica after. Yeah. But, yeah. but, but why are not there? It don't matter, it's still... I, I think it definitely matters. If Pop Smoke, if, like Pop Smoke, Pop Smoke bus in New York, right? He's uh-huh. in New York, so it, he might have been friends, him have, he can connect with certain DJs, he can play up on the radio over there. But imagine you as a Jamaican artist put out a song here, and then it was somewhere else. But that happened with Jacob Ray. They were saying, no, so I'm asking you, do you feel like it's a thing where like, all right, we're not fuck with this. But then when it go out, and then realize that other people Oh, like jump on the bandwagon? Yeah. Like, what are your uh... thoughts on that? I mean, I think that's possible. I think that's humans. I think that happened with enough things. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I think that's how it's happened before. And she decided to, she decided to El Yeah, she was El Yeah. So, question, you know, condolences and RIP, yeah. but how, how did that pass and affect the label and you personally? I mean, yo, of course it personally affected me. Years we spent with her, you know, like mentoring her, writing songs, teaching her enough things. Just building vibes, energy. Good person. Yeah, it did, it, did, it did affect all of us, especially like Sensi and them when we used to step on the road. Um, you know, condolences to family and friends and everything. It's just, it's just. I think the whole label did feel a little way when we attended the funeral. We never, we were never a part of it. You mm-hmm. feel me? Like, not even. I don't even think none of the man them did get for talk, or we weren't even acknowledged. And there were people there that, remember, you know, Jacob Reef for them last three years spent every day with us, so we kind of know our circle. And then we just see people we didn't really know speaking. And at the end of the day, that's their choice. But that's just kind of how we felt like, okay, like, we thought we were part of our family. Yeah, like staying family. You see what I mean? Like, of course, you have a real family and stuff, but so that did affect us to where we're like, we couldn't even get to grieve a certain way because we felt like we were shunned. You know what I mean? So, um, but yeah, condolences again. But it's just maybe maybe they never want to speak, whatever it mm-hmm. is. We're not bash them for that, but that's just how we did feel. You see? You, you mentioned Sean Dizzy. And not to be funny, but what, what happened to him? Like, you know, you have No 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 I'm to you. No, that's like that career wise is like why well, is that case where industry stopped the music? Yeah. I, I can't um, remember two Sean Dizzy songs, then just like No, Sean did have three solid songs. Um that me know and TJ Rhythm, Strange Face and Hello Man Wine. Oh god. Yeah, I think um you know I think you know him had he was dealing with some personal things too and then me and him never really connect musically anymore. Like I did I think I did um reside now in Florida and him him never I felt like maybe we never link enough to Continue the music, mm-hmm. and then yeah. So you you migrate? Do you migrate? Or are you just like you just say I go Florida? No, I never got to Florida first. I went to Atlanta. Okay. For a few months, I never like it. I move. So, so you, you migrated to America? Well, like, well, back and forth, but yeah. Okay, may I talk like like residency, citizenship type st- shit? Yeah, I'm still a resident here too. It's just back and forth because I just use Miami as a, a gateway. Come hours on the move. Okay. So with that move, the Kaidi have a studio on Arden Road. Like, did he give up the studio and whatnot? No, no, no. Rare cell room did that and the studio in the in the back. It's just um, my cousin was running that, and I just I think like I think a few months or a year after I did leave, 
I feel like maybe because I wasn't there as much, I was moving around, the man them never really as interested or mo maybe not as motivated because I wasn't there. So, you know, they just kind of, mm. yeah. Now, how you get into this Latin market? I feel like there's a time where you just go ghost and then you just pop up back and no, it's just no, like... Go, go, tell me when. Again, I'm telling from my perspective. I, I'm just saying from my perspective. You just dig a ghost and you just like, yo, Russian, I produce some big Latin songs. And they'll see a Puerto Rico. At one point, I think he used to live in Puerto Rico. No, never. never yeah, but I'm not telling from, from, from me just outside looking in. It's yeah. just like, yo, some niggas, you can't pronounce their name. And you just may say, yo, yeah, run over the part there. Like, yeah, no, I've, I've made your success over there. So, like, so what was that transition? Know? And then you being a... Well, all right. It go back to like even, even pre in like... You saw what you say, yo, I did the rhythm, boss an artist, mm -hmm. sing on a song. I felt like there was more for me. Like I felt like me as Russian was, was supposed to do more, not just only dancehall, not taking away from dancehall. Like yeah. that's just how they're calling and feel like, so yo, we can do more things, you see me? So that's why I moved to like, to have a resident there to, to, to touch other markets. And moving to Miami, I always used to listen to Hispanic music because as a young youth, a relative used to bring a lot of Hispanic girls around and they used to play that. And then that's how I got familiar with the artists and the sound. And then moving to Miami, one of my dogs them say, yo, I did have a, oh, I did have a Egyptian song where they mash up the whole place called Wine Slow. Mm -hmm. And when they want to remix it, and one of my dogs them say, yo, you should put, ABC on there, that, the artist of Faruka. And then I reached out to their team, um, told them the idea. They loved it. They already knew of dancehall songs I produced before. So that's how you show you dancehall still respected by the man them and them believe in it. We did the remix. Funny enough, VP have G Egyptian sign them tell me, when I told them what I was doing, them look at me like, yo, Russian, what are you doing? Like, you're wasting your time and this will never work. Did it. Then Latin music blew up and then a year later I'm looking back, hey, um, let's try to revisit the topic because I've never seen the vision. Mm -hmm. So that is the first song where I kind of like say, well, open my eyes to the genre of working. You see me? I'm like saying we should blend two of them and even seeing that it's almost the same music it's just one is in a different language. The same kind of rhythm pattern, same melody, same everything. So you can speak Spanish? Yeah, no. Oh, God. Yeah, people yeah, think it's Spanish, though. Right. No, I'm not like amazing, but you know, I understand everything and I can have converse, speak to the artist, speak to girls, whatever it is. So, what like your biggest like, like Latin record? Right? What are your biggest record overall? Like, we can see. It, it can't really, it's hard to measure that because you have, you have records who, culturally huge and they have records what sell a lot but it not really didn't move cultures all right tell me what give me, give me two all right creepy kush bad bunny faruko remix nikki jam nikki minaj travis scott 21 savage that record was a groundbreaking record mm -hmm. it sold a lot i think it's like 10 million to diamond but that moved the whole culture of saying even Bad Bunny's, um, that was like his song to Americans where he had white American, black American saying, who is this? It crossed over. What is this Latin trap mm -hmm. to that mainstream market? So culturally, that was a big record. And then um, then you have other records that might just sell a lot, but it never moved culture. You understand? Know which one? Which one are mine or which one in general? Yeah, yeah it is. Um, there's like Passion Wine or Sunset, um, what, where big records were sold, maybe 8 million, but it wasn't like, it was just a good song. Yeah. The other one, like, literally. Like, you probably would have, probably would have played today. No, it's still playing, you know? mm -hmm. but it's not culturally where it's a statement. You saw Jeans and Fitting was a statement where you go everywhere in Jamaica and everybody was dressed yeah. kind of like this. That's a cultural song. You understand what? Move the culture. Yeah, but honestly, man. So the other songs are just songs. It don't. Have, it's just good songs. It don't really have a, a culture statement behind it. And then what was the transition like going into hip hop? 
Well, hip hop is a little different still because the Latin, the Latin fan base, the Latin artists are more, I would say, humble and more easy going. And then hip hop is very ego, ego driven. Sometimes the man them feel like they're bigger than who they are, or so you're just dealing with that. You see me? Um, but yeah, no, me and, me and almost all of the hip hop man them good. And we work and whatever. Yeah, so you transition into that. Well, well I like the, the song for say, yo, you're trying to produce hip hop rap right now. I know you work with Future. Oh, yeah, few, uh, Kevin Gates was one of the first man them. I used to listen to enough Kevin Gates. And he was one of the first hip hop man then. When him there run the place with the link. Mm -hmm. And I produced like the, the, the famous song where he did Kick the Girl, remember? Apparently. Yeah, I remember that. Like, I yeah. was like, violated. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, I produced that. I produced a few songs on his album. Um, you know, like he's one of them. Stuff with the Migos, stuff with. It's, it's, it's kind of long where I can't remember. Like, okay. You work a baby too? Little baby? Yeah, a little baby, yeah. Mm -hmm. You heard the little baby and Byron song? Yeah, me do it. Oh, God. So, why them trust you, though, for going to that realm? Because, like, me, again, as I. Why them trust me? Because them realize, say, yo, all right, that you tell. Well, first of all, when I'm in the studio with them, and I'm hearing the music, it speak for themselves. One. Mm -hmm. Two, they will know who I am. Or if they don't know, they research and say, oh, shit, that you have numbers and thing. Also, how I carry myself. I walk in the studio, I'm wearing either the same watch them have or even something crazier. So them realize, all right, if I'm wearing a one million US dollar watch, he has to be doing something right. Mm -hmm. You see me? It's not a matter of, oh, who's this little kid? You get what I'm saying? You work with Jake? Yeah, but his song not out. Like new shit? Semi new, yeah. Oh. So what was that? What was that like? You were meeting where just like yeah, this? Yeah, yeah. So what no, was that interaction? You try to pat on or something? When I met him, if you try to talk about one, yeah. no, that was one type shit. No, I, I, unless we're joking around, but it's not really like he was trying to be. Yeah, no, Drake, cool dog. In the studio, on him phone, right fast. He's the goat, one of the goats for sure. So, who, who are like somebody where I say, yo, work ethic different? Like, you know, say from your link up in where I get some shit done. Juice World, oh, R.I.P. Cartel, um, uh, Juice World Cartel. Faruco, uh, Raul Alejandro, another Spanish artist. Um, who else? Yeah, you need more? It is more. I don't know. Yeah, no, a people. couple well. A couple well, but like Juice World is a man who literally, you play the rhythm, him hear it, he says stop. Like five seconds and say load it. And instantly he's, give, he's, he's singing off the top of his head and it's flames. So I'm really, I'm really just like freestyle, freestyle. Yeah, or I'm just freestyle right. Kind of like Carter. Mm -hmm. Two men where I see, see them do it, I'm like, yo, the man is an alien. Who are some producers over there where I do the work, but we don't know, they're not, they're not as flashy as you. Like, like super dupes and like, you know, like that type of nature. Yeah, super dupes is a big producer. Steven. Mm -hmm. In terms of international, right? Yeah. Is he's doing this thing? Mm -hmm. I would say those those three, off the top of my head. Is is it something that born, born Jamaican? Who? Um, boy wonder. Boy wonder. Yeah. Oh yeah, but boy him live in Canada in my whole life. But yeah, boy wonder is Jamaican. Yeah. Okay. My dog. And then give me a moment to surprise you, like as whether that interaction with a fan traveling. An artist, I don't know. Uh, when Rihanna follow me on Instagram. Where Rihanna follow you? Yeah. Like by, by accident? Nah, bro. No, hell no. Um, Rihanna not following not by accident. Um, no. You still follow you now? Yeah. Word. See you on Yeah. And she talk about? No, come on. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so, why do you work with her? Yeah, bro, we've worked on things for Rihanna, but Rihanna not really studying music right now. Mm -hmm. she, she have a family and things. Isn't so it? is there really a dance album for Rihanna? Yeah, I have, a, I have a confirmed song on it. Like, they pay me feet already, paperwork done, everything. 
but we can't go force her for the music. Mm -hmm. I'm one of Rihanna's biggest fans, love her music, but she has studied her life, you know, her picnic, them, her man. Yeah. She's a billionaire without music, so music's stressful, you know, so we can't blame her. Ed Concussion, is there any other, like, you have artists now that, that are signed to Ed Concussion and like, other producers? Um, yeah, artists right now to Head Concussion. Um, yeah, we have Kosa. Um, when I knew you, them, Jiggy. <laughs> Oh, Jiggy D? Yeah. Oh, word. That was an artist, you know, as a, him doing him thing like him, producer artist thing. Not formally yet, but, you know, mm -hmm. I'm a dog. Um, he's not on the head concussion, but he's on the Richie McGann's mm -hmm. nine. Um, right now, who else? Yeah, that's it. I thought there was yeah, a thing yeah, with yeah, Sorry, I shouldn't say it. Yeah. So, so you forget that. That's like, isn't that you like your biggest signee? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> that's crazy. No, that's, <laughs> that's very crazy. No, because I, just, uh, I think about like young. Okay. Yeah, young. I thought I was thinking more young. I never forget that. No. Yeah, Shensi has signed to me. So not on the head concussion. On, on the rich man. Okay, and it's and true and, head concussion. And and that's a, and that's a imprint of Interscope, correct? Yes, rich immigrants and Interscope partners. Okay, um, Shensia, right? You know, doing podcast on myself, and you know. What did you say? I said she's a flop, but based on based on the fact that I feel like she's not fulfill her potential, you mm. know. And then there's always this, oh, I'm a pop artist. I want to do more than dance and all of that. No, you you want, you want to like comment on that? On what? If she's a pop artist? No, and, and, and I'm not saying like she's a flop. I I'm a big Shensia fan. Let's get that straight. But I'm just saying, you're saying that it's not the same of the Shensia, you know? No, I'm saying that she's she's getting certain collabs and and she's on certain platform and she's not capitalizing on those opportunities. You get what I, I mean? think she's capitalizing on the opportunity in terms of doing it. I just feel like. Um, Maybe the choice of music is not the best okay. of, of what the people want to hear from her. Because sometimes the people's vision and the artist's vision are different. She might feel like this is what she wants to do, but the people are not accepting her for that. And, and who do you think has, uh, has the leverage? The people or the artists? Is it what the artists want to give them or what the people want? Um, I mean, at the, at the end of the day, it's like, who have the leverage? Mm -hmm. No, she she choosing what she wants to put out, you know, and the people not accepting it is what I think is happening. But um, in this aspect, is the people, yes, yeah, people consuming the music. Except them don't want to hear it as much as if her pop stuff, them don't want to hear as much as her dancehall. Then obviously the people them kind of yeah, because people always are. I'm not saying me, but I've seen things on TikToks and that them always like a sellout. All right, them have a, I think them said that because of the um the comments what she said what them never too like about you know the Caribbean people, um whatever she said with that I don't remember exact words, and then her not and her saying maybe I I, I gave dancehall four years, so I feel like the people feel like she turned her back on them, and she can't have to speak on that where well, that's concerned. But you as an exec, don't you like micromanage your artists? Ero, she signed to me, and to be real, me and she said don't talk in two years. But she signed to me, but me not gonna control nobody. They can do what they want because I don't want anybody ever say me hold them back or stifle them career or mm -hmm. whatever it is. So when so, I don't talk on some on some not seen eye to eye shit, or yo, my wife said the thing, she wanna say the fair thing. Both of it, both of them. Mm -hmm. So it's just is what it is. Uh, I, I don't feel like I'm not going to tell someone yo don't talk about I can advise you I can't force you I think during these comments I wasn't there though. okay so with, with that being said is is signing more artists a part of what you don't want for do or are you kind yeah, of scarred from it no no I'm not scarred um, because enough enough artists I help 
some of them are grateful, mm -hmm. some of them ungrateful. And it's just humans. Just like if you have a girl, some girl ungrateful, some. It's just a learning process. Mm -hmm. One one bad apple don't spoil the bunch for me. And it's not like, yo, me no wish nobody and she even though me and I talk. I still approve everything. All of them expensive videos, I still approve. I never stop a song. It's just that when I seen in this moment of time, when I seen eye to eye. Just... But but other than she um she do at a freestyle on the, the the go go rhythm, I was like, you signed to the producer, so why like oh this won't like I see look at job you know, like, okay. this won't come out. Well, I never understand that mm -hmm. because if it won't come out, why you post it? You know? mm -hmm. But I don't know. I can't I can't speak on that. As in, I don't know. The same time you saw it, the same time I saw it. Okay. The same time you heard it, the same time I heard it. Yeah. So, I mean, I understand that still. No, you got dance, uh, reggaeton, Latin trap, hip hop, trap music. You never really disappear from dance. You always, you grew pop up. Like, you see, hi, uh, highest level, uh, that's a Carter song. Yeah. And then you just see you're gone again and you fall back whenever. Yeah. See, you work with Skeng 23 and all that. Like, why you always stay, you always come back to the culture? Because like, it's something we love, it's something we start at the foundation. So you had it for the love? Uh, yeah, of course, bro. It's not for the money. Like, mm. as I just told you, I have records that sell 10 million, diamond, you know? Um, I don't have to do dance all, I do it because I love it. It's not, never, been a mon it's never been a money thing. Even in the starting, it was never about money. It was just about... Hey, you, already, you, already, you, already, you already got it like that. Like, no, wow. no, no. My father, bro, trust me, if, 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 if anybody know him, it's not even it's not even a man who spend money on himself. Mm -hmm. You understand? Is 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 it's not that a habit. It's me as a man have to work for anything what me want. That's what me believe. When I believe anything given to me or handout, I don't want no handouts. I want no say, yo, my buy that watch and me work feet. You see me? Cause you're not gonna feel good if 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 I was just given. You understand? When you work for something, feel better. Yeah. So but, so how you how you stay in tune like it's normal like YouTube shit are you, you, you checking on the ground? No, holy, nah, we still have people in the streets like Jiggy him in the streets and we tell me yo that YouTube about YouTube I'm always like listening, obviously not all day searching on the internet but I listen out. Um, people DM me yo check the artist or me find them on Instagram, TikTok whatever it is. Yeah, it's it's not more refreshing than hearing about new artists. You just don't know what them coming with. All of them, all of them see like certain comments where they're like, <clears throat> you only try for draw for the, the the hottest new artists. Mm -hmm. So like you know the Skangs, okay. Or, or I, the mean, Raja. I, mean, I mean, for example, let's use Skeng as example. In can tell you, from Skeng even before him was running the place with the gunman shift. Me and Skeng are link. It just happened. It just happened that maybe publicly it came out there. You know, enough time I have helping artists who are maybe not the, fully established yet, even if it don't have nothing to do with my song or my career or whatever, just helping them, mentoring, whatever, advice, producing, whatever it is that people don't know. Mm -hmm. You understand that everything you're going to hear is Russian. For example, Jada Nine song, one of the biggest songs for last year, right or wrong? Mm -hmm. Nobody knows know Sami produced that. You didn't know? No, I didn't know. Exactly. Because sometimes for the song, maybe where the tag would go, it don't fit or whatever it is. Or I don't want it to be a Russian moment. The moment is nine and Jada. No. And I, I didn't forget the highlight, I'm going to just say. You see me? So, so, so a matter of hot artists, it's not a style to none of the artists, then, but let's be real. Like My numbers is different from them and it's not even a comparison thing. It's just... I rate them and whatever. And, and let's be real, I'm a businessman. If if I, if somebody if somebody doing numbers and I'm doing numbers, that's even more numbers. It's not like me, me I go want to work with somebody who's doing bad. Why would I? Like who's want to do that? that no, but that it's, it's that case where you check your DM and are you saying you're a bad freestyle or you know Okay, it, well look I, what happened. Bad freestyle, bad Artist, Nigel, he has a whole career now. The whole world know him now. But, but, but that's like a, 
and you're right, but that's that like a tryout and like the fans and pick him. That's like a rising star saying that like they voted for him. But guess what? I don't have to do it. Mm-hmm. But could I just say, all right, look how much people. I don't have to do it. If I look at it and say, oh, I'm gonna like this, it's what I want to do. It's my production, my rhythm, and it's my money spent. You see me? And me arrange the video, the clothes, to the glasses, pay for everything. He literally left work to go to the video shoot and went back to work mm-hmm. and did the video. Was that shot out here? Or no, was that, that they shoot in New York. I wasn't oh, there, yeah. but so you see me? I just said, go. Why you, you bring about the rhythm though? Uh, it's not the first time you do. I see you do with Shensi as well, right? Um, yeah, I bring back the rhythm because I just feel like it's time. Mm-hmm. You know, it's just music always going in circles, just like art and whatever. It, um, is there, is there new like instruments in it? Cause yeah, yeah. Why, why the name change? Well, name change also for branding reasons. Um. Yeah, there's new instruments. It's, it's 808s. 808s was something in origin. New hi hats, some trap drums, a saxophone. TJ added the sax. Um, Which TJ? TJ Records? TJ? No, no, no. TJ Tory, nine uh-huh. brother. Um, I told him to change his name because of that same thing, too. All right. Yeah, because then he's in the shadow of TJ. But. Um, yeah, no, a few things are added differently. Oh, a lead, a new synth lead. It's like eight new things in the rhythm. It's authorized thing. Briscoe. Was that plan? No, it wasn't. Okay. So you, you just get up one day and you just say, yeah, I'm gonna never authorize this. <laughs> so at the same time as you. I think corruption in the game, the rhythm, man, um, it did come out. And I just know, I, just, I saw the comments and I know, say, yo, if, if, I, if I never respond to it like that and say what I said, then people wouldn't want to listen to it. So it's like, yeah, it was premeditated in your head, like, oh, we're going to execute this. Like, the, because the it's already out. Okay. You feel me? And I can't take it back. All right, so in the other live and I see, yo, yo, this half a drop, like, when I forgot, back I never, my face. I, I never seen none of that. I never seen none of that. I also saw that after. Yeah, so but when you see after, did, did you did the phone call make before the, the live or after the live? What phone call? When, well, the song drops, when the must start. Oh, 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 yeah, no, like after this, the whole thing, I didn't go live. I mean, they sent him a DM anyway. I was like, yo, um, because I had him number, but I think it was an old number. Because me and him was cool before, and I said, yo, we could shoot this video. That was it. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And then, then no. The trials, cause that's what. It's not, I, I no, it's a trial. trial Honestly, that's genius, bro. Because no, <laughs> everybody can buy themselves. No, like what kind of day where they might not access to a studio. It might yeah, not mix no good or whatever. Right? No, there's gatekeepers. Right? No, there's gatekeepers. There's yeah. gatekeepers. There's gatekeepers. But it's like I just part of the gate that I keep still. Is it me? But anyways, this trials. You never have to say all right, then all right, link. Artist A, and if artist A not sound good, man, forgive my story. Why I'm gonna like it. It's like, you make the fans them true. No, so. no, no, not really. Because, watch your before everybody, there was a lot of people that was already re- voiced on rhythm. Mm-hmm. Raja, Najiri, Malian Nine. Um, but those names you're calling are like artists were supposed to depend on it in terms of the. There's no artist supposed to depend on it. In terms of the heat, they depend on them right now. If you get what I mean. This is gonna be a it's, big production. It's still a risk. True, but yeah. it's, it's low risk. No, it, it, once, no, every in music, everything is a 50-50. There's no, yo, we can there right now and say it's the biggest song this is going to run the place and it come out tomorrow and touch. Mm. You can't predict music. If you feel like you really predict music, you'll lose it. Even as a man who I've had hits over the years, I never, I will, I will be confident about my song and say, yo, this must hit. Even though my hit ratio is more than my flop and I'm confident to know what people like, Sometimes sometime you can have the hit song and it dropped the wrong time. It's about timing. Mm-hmm. Just like if I felt like I dropped this rhythm five, five months prior to this, it wouldn't be what it is because it would have been maybe overshadowed by big bumps. You understand? Because people are already onto that or maybe just not really fully ready for another rhythm. 
or whatever it is. So it's about timing, it's about watching the game timing. So as I say, you can have the biggest song, and if it comes before it's time, it don't work. Okay. So, Roger. Yeah. I would say that's the lead. Lead song on the radio. Would yes, you agree? I agree. Yeah. Oh, how how that process is that case where you you did the advice or like him just saying all things to you? No, no, no. He did send that to me, voice, but the arrangement you hear now is not the arrangement what it was. He did come link me and Miami too. And me and him they go back and forth about the arrangement because the verse was actually the chorus and the verse. The verse now is the cor no the chorus now it was the verse. You see me? And me hear it and say, no, this can't go like this. It's not catchy enough. I'm going to rearrange the song. And I guess, Carl, you don't know when an artist hear it, maybe they need to have demo artists to it. And you kind of like, uh. But after a while, I guess him say, yo, you, you know what you're doing since so, all right, we'll go off for it. So the chorus now was really diverse, and, and that's what became. Mm. Yeah. And then Nigeria. Oh, oh, oh. Like, was, it, was there any, like, mm, I don't want to work with Russian type vibe or no, I don't, I don't, I never get that before. No, I never get it like this, like go around here on this project or in general. In general, yeah, the markers I say. It's not go around. I'm trying to think grand. He doesn't have it. Um, oh, go around. Like yo, my suit send it, man. I'm up on the road and <laughs> phone turn off and down. I drop us sleep. Yo, um, I'm there my laptop. Who girl on me? Can't really recall right now. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I'm sure there's one or two. But they probably will get it. Right now. Yeah. See, so, so you're going to carry like vengeance? No, hell no. Not everybody going to see the vision, dog. I'm going to expect that. There's, there's no way. Even some artists don't see the vision in their own song what we have together. I mean, I tell them, say, yo, this must hit. And then it's like, yeah, it's a cool song. And then when it hit them, so oh, you did right or whatever. No. No, I mean, I care feelings like that. Unless it's something personal, like disrespect. So, go, go, read him now. Sorry, dirty money, read him, right? Yeah. If, 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 is that offensive? Like when people still mention it as go, go, read him? I don't know. Some people funny, bro. I'm not funny. Me either. Yeah. But still, is that it's still a question there in the ear? I just know what I thought. Wait, what you said? <laughs> like, if people like, Misrepresent it and call it. No, I don't care, bro. People can say what they call it what they want. Once it's doing doing the numbers, you know? I'm good. Is dance all profitable? Of course, bro. Like, is, it, is, it, is, it, is, is it like an AP profitable? Hell yeah. For real. I, I, my dance all make a lot of money. But then again, my dance all has always been the different ones. Like, we well, always try and market it to be more global. Like, the wine and cuts, that's a huge song. or or the wine slow, um, Egyptian, or it just I just always try and go a different route. Even when I used to produce cartel, I used to try and do less gun songs more. Why you say used to? Songs. You just talk about song with him. No, no, used to as in like like coming out. Okay, know? yeah. Like when cartel was out and we we're working a lot, you know, I never really choose the bad man song them really more like a self defense because I want them the more commercial side, more profitable, more marketable side. But you look at look at Badman songs now are are already in thing now. You know, you have crocodile teeth to did hit the hot one. Badman song always been in, bro. Badman fought, Badman pull up or cartel. This man from nineties, all of these songs. But those, but those, but those never that get like the numbers, numbers. We're like at a chart, chart. Well, dancehall in general, chart like a whole year. Yeah, like a whole year. Yeah, because it's hard for that type of concept to be as um, mainstream. Like, all right, the most mainstream Badman song I think we've seen in the last few years is Taliban's. Mm -hmm. But if you don't know what I'm saying, it's, it don't feel, the, the melodies don't feel like a Badman song. It feel like a feel good song. You get me? It's just when, because you have enough people who don't know what I'm saying, like, enough of foreign friend them. And they say, yo, you know what the dog I say? I must say some real thing. I must say, oh shit, he's talking about murder, you know? They don't realize, say. Tell us the Sonics. Yeah, so sonically, it sounds like a cool dancehall song yeah yeah and when you take on the whole trap dance out era like i feel like you them have to experiment and do what they want what do you think with the labeling though calling it trap dance out uh, uh, well i respect that it's still dance hall and it's sub labeling 
but it's, them just have to know that dancehall is the real thing. Mm-hmm. Yeah. You the trap dancer? I don't think so, no. So even though you add the, the 808 and the trap yeah, no, elements? 808 is not only for dancehall. 808 was first made for dance music. Mm-hmm. It's, just a, it's just a type of synthetic drum. Yeah, now come they have a... Because a... wine and catch bass line is an 808. So what makes it trap? That's, that's a big question. I think what makes it trap is, is maybe... <laughs> it's kind of hard to say, but... I would have feel like what makes it trap is a lot of the songs in it is trap. It's sung more like a trap beat, but with a little bit of dance or groove. And mm-hmm. maybe the, the subject matter. I don't know. Yeah, cause... I don't really ever hear a song and say, I don't think in my life I ever say, yo, that's trap dance or I just know say, yo, I didn't knew you them I try them. Yeah, I feel like some things are just being labeled wrong just because it's like the whole term is out there. So it's like anything new is, yeah. is trap dance or yeah, no, no. I'm mean, not use that term. So, so. Now, we finish with um, Dirty Money. Mm. Who else is supposed to drop? I see Moy and a cute one video. Yeah, um, no, there's a couple. Topman, Moy and Baker. That's it? Yeah, as far as I know. Okay. But you know this rhythm go. Tomorrow, we might have Andrew Holness on the rhythm. All right. <laughs> So, yo, is, is there a certain song that you didn't authorize? Like, I'm on sending out a song and you're like, nah, I can't. This, I'm not getting jiggy to this shit. This ain't it. Yeah, of course, bro. The whole of the country sent me a, a song. And you go through all of them? I don't. It's impossible. There's so much I can't go through all of them, but there's a lot that I didn't like. Mm-hmm. And there's a lot I like. Like, I don't know. I don't remember at the moment if I was the J something. Him song bad. I heard it. I heard a preview on TikTok before it blew up. I link him and I say, yo, this bad. The part that I did like was actually the verse. I'm calling him and say, yo, that can't be the verse. That have to be the chorus. Rewrite the verse, then structure it this way and tell him. It's a brand new artist. Mm-hmm. I did post it on my TikTok. It did like 1.5 million views after we did rearrange it. Um, so yeah, I listened to the man them. Yeah. What do you feel are the leader of the new school right now? Both, both artists and producer. All right, producers, mm-hmm. I'm gonna be real, like, there's not no style thing. I just don't I don't know, I don't know much of them. Because I feel like they're not really marketed out there. Or maybe I just not hip to them because more following the artists. I don't know. I just don't feel like it was like back in the day where he didn't know. Like Genius and you and yeah. Jordan and all that. Yeah, like maybe maybe our names were said more or something in songs. But I feel like they, there's enough producers now maybe, but I just feel like they're more... So you know no new producer? Jiggy's I mean, a producer. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Jiggy's a producer. Yeah, Jiggy. I know TJ Tory. Um, DJ Mac. Um, and is it a Messi? A Messiah or something like that? Yeah, I meet him one time. Yeah, yeah. Through, through the same you them who have that drink, I think. Oh. Them. Yeah, 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 yeah. And and I think Blackfoot managed him too. But it's not like, what was the question? If I who, if, who are the leader? Who are the... leaders? I wouldn't know who's the leaders. Okay, I wouldn't know to say like, yo, this man is. Leading, I wouldn't know. But th- I've heard of those. So I don't know who's the leader. Either the new school, you don't know. You have the Valiant, you have the Skeng, you have the Raja. Um, I feel like all of you, them leading right now. Mm-hmm. But I think the problem with dancehall is that the man them always want to pick one person for lead. I think that's actually mashing up the whole genre. Because... One man can't push a genre, no matter how big you is. One man is not pushing hip hop. One man is not pushing Latin music. One man not pushing Afro. One man not pushing pop. It's consecutively 10 to 15. And the problem with what we have in Jamaica is, oh, I'm alone around the place. And the music like, can't be that big. Yeah, and if- one man, it have to be, it have to be eight hot artists pushing at one time so the world can say, what is this movement? Mm-hmm. Because trust me, it's 20 Afro artists 
not just Burner Boy. Yeah, for sure. You understand? It's not. Nah, Whiskey than Davida. Yeah, it's Rema, Rema. There's so much. Girls, Ruga. though. Exactly. So, as we were saying, we need that. We need to come out of the mentality that if we really love the music and want it to grow, we have to come out of the mentality of saying, yo, that one man, yo. I think it's a cultural thing. Because yeah, like, if I I'm know, on, if I'm on either argue with Messi and Christy, the... Christy I'm a, I'm a, when you don't talk, if either Messi is not good or Christy is not good at all. Like. Yeah, but. Realistically, we have to support all of the man. Even if, even if, yo, that man is my favorite artist, yo, we are still support the other. Because, and it's not only that, it's mentally, you have to think, say, yo, all right, let's use Valiant. If Valiant are on the place, the man need a break, you know, to think, to live his life, to enjoy his life, to live his family life, to think of new music. And during that time, you can respect and say, yo, all right, maybe stop for four months. And him creating new music, just like when Drake dropped and him disappear. Or like Kendrick, them. Or, yeah, exactly. Respect the artist, them. The people, them not really give that respect and feel like, yo, it's robots where the man, them just constantly just press a button and song come out. New topic, new this. Yo, them do like three songs in a row, him fall off. No, dog. Think about this. Them money I got to work every night toward all of this. Them is humans. And it's not like we work on a nine to five desk job where we click calculate a five plus five and we get ten. Mm. We and literally have out. to go into a studio, hear a beat, and have a, a blank canvas. I'm supposed to paint the greatest song to you every single time. That shit is hard. Mm -hmm. Plus, them have them regular family family stress. The artist them have to take care of new people now, new responsibilities, new baby mother, new whatever. Yeah, dog. So speaking of that, what, what's your life like? Like, if, if you like, you want them on that rock star life. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, um, no, I'm in a rock star in terms of what? I don't know. Smoke a bag of weed. No, I'm in a drink. I'm in a smoke or drink liquor. I don't even eat meat. Word. Pause. But yeah. Yeah, big one. Yeah. Really? But no, I, I never eat meat in my life. Like, no, no goat, no ham, no. Um, None of that. Never ever. Mm -mm. Only only fish. Yeah. Do right, parents? Yeah, my father was a um a rasta. And obviously when I did reach a certain age, he said you can eat whatever you want, but that was cooked in the house. It wasn't it wasn't cooked in the house. And um whenever Yeah, I just it never appealed to me. You see me? And it just continued throughout my life. So what like your lifestyle? You have a playboy lifestyle? <laughs> Um, <laughs> Playboy lifestyle? Or define Playboy lifestyle? Are you outside? Yeah, we're, we're outside right now. No, like, like a bachelor lifestyle. I wouldn't say bachelor lifestyle, but we live in our life. You don't know? Mm -hmm. We have experiences. Is it? Okay. Yeah. Sure. So, 2024, what we can say is, is next for Russian? I can't tell you. I don't want to give up my hand. Mm -hmm. Just know, say, yo, more music, more content, more vibes, all type of music, more artists. Yeah, positivity. Yeah, We're just turning it up. So why if you labels now, like, spend the money like what they used to spend? On, on, on music in general? No, in, in dance hall. So for a big artist tell me I already said dance hall is not cool anymore. Like... Yeah, reggae is not cool anymore. Reggae or dancehall? Dancehall. Dancehall. And it's a big artist. Dancehall is cool, bro. Everywhere in the world, I'm going to dancehall respected. Everywhere. But, we, but what dancehall? I'm talking about the, the, the new dancehall. No, dancehall in all. Just the culture of dancehall. Jamaica and dancehall is cool. It's always been cool. Mm -hmm. Nobody can tell me that no, we set the trend. Not for the, not for the music we look up to. And I say, yo, them is actually watching us. All of them. So it is cool. What I think is the difference now is maybe it's not as financial, as profitable as the other genres because it goes back to what I'm saying. It's a niche of the people who actually love dancehall and they're not streaming it as much. But the reason that is if, if, if 10 artists is popping at this time, like 10 hot and pushing, the genre game blow up. The same way Afro have 10 hot man, and it blow up. Pause. I'm talking musically hot. Pause. All right, whatever. So, Afrobeat, right? Yeah. Now, people, people always make the argument, say, yo, 
Africa is bigger than Jamaica, Nigeria has 200 million people. I mean, that does factor it. But how? How? Because okay. when you go on America, it's a fair, it's a, it's a fair platform. Right. No, we, no, no, no. Jamaicans are more in America than, than Nigerians. I mean, you know that, right? Yes. Yeah. Uh, yeah, we are. We're like a yeah. million plus. Like Niger, Nigerians no, are no. like just not a million, for sure. And where where were these African artists when Sean Paul like, got number one, when Shaggy like, got number one, <laughs> being a like, hot 100? Like, well, you have to understand that Sean Paul and Shaggy singing more more commercial music. So, versus, um, let's say, one of Sean Paul's songs, them like, um, So In Love, So Into You, or what do you call it? Um, no, let's, no, let's just get, get Busy. Get Busy. It's, it's, sonically, it's easier to listen to that may be like a, a dark gun song, mm -hmm. you know? But then you see good songs, not, not saying others are not, but then you see some songs that share sonically similarities to that do good, like um, Sarani, No Games, to, uh, why, um, Egyptian, Hold You, um, Omi's song, mm -hmm. these songs still doing good because it's just, you have to understand, it's a familiarity thing. When the people them are foreign here, dance all that song like the the nineties and nineties and two thousands, what them know, oh yo, that song like that Jamaican shit. And also it it the chords are very similar and things. So them like that. Maybe they're not really fully accepting to the new ones yet because it don't really sound like that. Mm -hmm. So that's why you see, think about any song that been working, it kinda have that sound. That's why uh, I go back to, times? Yeah, that's why I go back to even Taliban's. It's a bad man song, but it's sound commercially the, the commercially. Honestly, I don't think so, bro. I'm gonna be real with you. That's, like, what, I, I, that's, that's what you think. Yeah, that's fine. But, I'm but if, what I if think. we go and play the average white girl in America with Taliban's and don't know what it's saying, it sound like a commercial melody. It's the 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 da 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 bro come on that's nursery rhymes we're, we're probably um, pardon me i look upon it from a guy who understand what I'm exactly saying. that's what i'm saying sonically remember when them i hear all the dancehall music them don't necessarily understand the lyrics but sonically it sounds like what them used to mm -hmm. drift is commercial sonically and it have a dance that's what they used well, I to i feel like i so said that's the thing now i feel like we have enough of these songs in the space but at the same time them don't Get that engine there. Some say, oh, why the labels no, don't because trust me? No, the, no, no. In in the last two years, I would say it's probably the best state dance I've been in in terms of interest from the labels. Because five years ago, no label was even caring about signing a dance hall act. Mm -hmm. To be real, and I'm someone who do with other labels. Are they signing the act? Or are they signing the song? They're doing both, mm -hmm. in the hopes of the artist. Because they're investing in the artists too. You know? They're doing both. But the thing is like, more labels are, they're still looking. It's still good now. But as I say, if we have more artists doing the right thing, what they, what is making it successful, you will see more investment. It's just like a new business you start tomorrow. You know, I just go buy Let's say you start a, a gardening company, you're not just gonna buy a hundred land more, you're gonna buy two and say, All right, well, I'll cut some land and see how it do. Mm -hmm. Shit, oh, there's a demand, they may. Yeah, but some yeah, money. I feel like what you are missing out in my point is that we were there. We was never there. We had number ones. Sean Paul had number ones. Shaggy had number one. Yes, but it was. Shaggy had two gold you know, albums. It's, it's still one man at a time. Imagine. Any man have, have, right. have hot 100s. Any imagine, man have Im hot 100s. Imagine when Sean Paul was hot. Mm -hmm. Of course, he's still hot, but you know what I mean? Like, pause. Uh, yo, anyways, imagine when Sean Paul was blazing up the charts and hot. You mm -hmm. see? We had seven of them. Because the label, the label at the time, when he's on fire, get artists of the year, all them things, them looking for the next person. That song similar to that. But there wasn't that. Who was there? Not Baby Sham there at that time. Eddie Fat Man was Baby there. Baby Sham does not sing the music Sham Paul sings. But Baby Sham had, 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 had a breakthrough. A big one at that. But that's still two, bro. As I say, we need 15 to Wayne 20 artists. Up. It was never around the same time. 
Get music. And those are one songs. True, but it's still, a, it's still, it's still a, it's nah, bro. You have to understand. Like, it's still uh, a, through the door. It's still a business. Mm-hmm. When the man them do out, them run analytics and everything. It's not just saying back to we're not signing the song, we're signing the artist. Maybe they see the man only with one song and say, yo, let's see if his let. They will say, all right, yo, we like this Wayne song. Let's see if his next song is going to be us. And if the next song touch, they say, okay, it was just this one song, and them sign that one song and keep it moving, because it's business them are deal with. You can't fight a man for doing business on field. And then why when you, they're investing, they're investing millions in them. And they want make my money. Exactly. So question, why when like other people do it, like the, the Rihanna's and the Justin Bieber's and sample or thing, them use the reggae inspired beats and it work. Why is it working and all will not work? Or why don't the label say, let's go to the home, the mecca of this song? All right. When me just start deal with the labels, I remember a label said to me, oh, Russian, you're one of the easiest Jamaicans I've had to deal with. So what do you mean? So, yo, most of the Jamaicans either off, not on time, or, or they're unprofessional or whatever it is. That's what the man has said to me. Mm-hmm. And so they go by their experience. Maybe the experience they had with whichever artist, it didn't work out good and put a bad taste in their mouth. You see me? Pause. I didn't want to say it, bro. <laughs> but it's not my... It's their mouth, you know what I mean? <laughs> you see me? But, you see me? I, 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 that, I that gone, really. And it's just... It's just not maybe, at the time, not as profitable. It's just maybe a few songs were. I, but there's interest in the genre. Mm-hmm. It can be done. I'm telling you right now, if we have 15 men running the thing, Afrobeats in problem. Mm. A question though, uh, no, this is I, my take, right? Because mm. I look on other co- black genres, like hip hop per se, right? You have an exec like a, a Birdman, a P. Diddy, um, you know, even R&B, you have the LA Reads, the Babyface. Mm-hmm. And then all of these, these names, they're either backed by Universal or Clive Davis or whatever the case may be. I feel like when dancer lit at its peak, like even Shabba and Sean Pauls and yeah, but not for why the they ma- never start an imprint. It's right? not that. It's maybe the people. I don't think the people at the time were even thinking that. Mm-hmm. You understand? Yeah, as it goes back to there's music and music business. The man they maybe not pre the business that way. They were just pre all eyes on Sean. Not saying this is the case, or all eyes on this and whatever it is, or maybe the, the labels at the time just didn't trust. Them to give them that responsibility. Yeah. They might say, all right, then money, I might just go and fuck off with the money and just run it up, buy some new chain and thing. And right. So, if you had a solution, the, 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 not this one person around the show thing, it's like we have 10 people. Yeah, nominate. that's the solution. And not fighting each other and not comparing, like, yo, who had, the, who this, who that. Just no say, yo, we all I try accomplish the same thing. It needs some form of unity. Even doing a show, you know, like there, there needs to be a, a, a Caribbean tour of the, the, the 10 biggest dancehall artists touring the Caribbean first, showing the world like, yo, we sell out this arena as Caribbean people, sell out mm-hmm. the stadium. Then we say, all right, we're going to move this tour to this country and that country. There has to be that to create a movement how you expect people to believe in the movement if we not even showing them there's a movement? I'm saying. Seeing is believing for a lot of people. Shandizi, right? Let's go up there so real quick. Shandizi. Oh, um, to that. Well, we, we, yeah. Trust me, we're going to get there. Shandizi and Moscow did have beef, right? You ever work in Moscow? Like after? Because he's doing good. Work with him after? Um, yeah, me and him, me and him did some songs. All right. They're not out yet. Oh, recent. Yeah, like probably in the last between a year to two. So was there like a bad energy from them no. time there? Mm-hmm. But was there a bad energy to, to ever begin with? No, because I hear what him did when him did this Shandy say, him did say him did mention my name in song, but him bleep the name. Him <laughs> said the drive by something something and once a Russian but my name did bleep. Mm. But you could tell because of the rhyme. Um, and then in the sign, remember him and Conscience? Did oh, have yeah, a deal. Yeah, yeah. So Conscience, me and Conscience is like this time, we bring him around and we never, pre- we never pre-nothing against him. It was just like, oh, mm-hmm. 
bro, as I said, I'm not really hold a grudge against a man if 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 it, if it's not no direct this physical or not no disrespect on the internet like no suck mother argument. If it's anything like that, then that can't delete. It just dead. Yeah, it can't about. Yeah. Well, I feel like that's really everything for now. Cause I feel like you have more things. Um, you said the uh, more more rhythms to come out this year. That, yes, I work with that one already. Right? Yeah, no, more more rhythms, more production, more songs, singles, mm -hmm. everything. Any any collaboration with you and any producers out there? No, not not off the top of my head, no. Mm -hmm. All right. Well, many people on it, but them can't find it. On Instagram, yeah, TikTok, Russian, with a V, with a V. Yeah. Let's be honest, we're gone. Mad. Very good.